Are you looking for the best robot vacuum? In this video, we will look at some of the best robot vacuums on the market. Before we get started with our video, we have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Number 1. If you're in search of a basic robot vacuum that can rid your floors of dust bunnies without breaking the bank, consider the iRobot Roomba 694. Listed at $274.99 but marked down to $179.99 at the time of this writing, the base model in iRobot's current Roomba lineup offers few frills apart from an app and voice control support but delivers solid cleaning performance for its low price. It rarely gets stuck, and it has slightly better battery life than its excellent predecessor, the Roomba 675, but otherwise functions about the same. If you can increase your budget, we highly recommend a lower maintenance self-emptying model like the $599 Shark IQ Robot XL, but the Roomba 694 is a terrific option for first-time robot vacuum buyers, and our editor's choice for entry-level models. The Roomba 694 replaced the Roomba 675 as iRobot's entry-level robot vacuum, but it doesn't differ much from its predecessor, which is still available via third-party retailers at the time of this writing. An iRobot spokesperson tells me that 600 series models are all basically the same core robot, with slight differences in terms of design and included accessories. Measuring 13.4 inches in diameter and 3.5 inches tall, the Roomba 694 is wider but shorter than the Roomba 675, making it a slightly better option for cleaning under furniture. If you're looking for a lower-profile robot vacuum in this price range, check out the 2.9-inch Eufy Robovac 30C, $299. The Roomba 694 weighs 6.8 pounds, a whole pound less than its predecessor, but it now lacks a carrying handle on the top. The handle is useful when you have to manually put the robot on its base, it's a shame I robot removed this design detail, but that's a small gripe. Number 2. If you're in the market for the best robot vacuum and value your time, the iLife V3's Pro has the performance and battery life to do just that. Featuring powerful suction power, programmable scheduling, and the ability to run on carpets, this is the robotic vacuum for the busiest people. If you're on a budget, you may want to head towards our O Cedar O Duster Robotic Floor Cleaner review instead. If a robot vacuum isn't your style, check out this list of the best vacuum cleaner reviews. The iLife V3s offers one of the best robotic vacuum cleaners for your budget, while still maintaining performance that keeps your hard flooring and low-profile carpets clean. It's very much like its sister model, which you can read about in our iLife vacuum review. The iLife V3's Pro Robotic Vacuum Cleaner is going to tackle all kinds of messes on your floors such as pet hair, dirt, debris, and even human hair. Rather than use a roller, it uses two spinning brushes that sweep the debris into the vacuum and its suction power sucks it right in. It has three cleaning modes, edge cleaning, spot cleaning, auto cleaning, and schedule cleaning, which you can program. That's one more cleaning mode than the Echovacs Dbot N79S. However, it can be a bit loud at times, getting as high as 64 decibels. Furthermore, the iLife V3's Pro Robotic Vacuum is a champ on other kinds of flooring, other than hardwood floors. Robotic vacuums in general do just fine on most hard floors but rarely ever venture onto carpet. The V3's Pro does not have that problem at all. It can work on hard flooring and select carpeting too, thin carpets and rugs to be specific. You'll get an easy 100 minutes out of the V3's Pro, easily competing with the Eufy Boostique Robovac 11S. Number 3. I started my vacuum cleaner tester career in 2020 and it was a bit of a fluke as I needed a new vacuum cleaner, bought one, posted a test and saw that it brought me quite a few visitors. Since that first vacuum cleaner, I have tested 8 others and more are planned. I still don't consider myself an expert in the field, but is there such a thing? but I'm starting to get enough perspective to identify the strengths and weaknesses of each product. I'm now going to test the LaFont M210's vacuum cleaner from Bed and First, a brand new website that focuses on a limited handful of products at a very attractive price. This vacuum cleaner has the particularity of being very compact both in height and width, and its price is much lower than other vacuum cleaner I have tested so far. I haven't tested any vacuum cleaners from this brand yet, so this will be a discovery. LaFont is a Chinese company founded in 2011 that first started out producing drones. Over time, LaFont has expanded by investing in research and development to produce its products produced and innovate. 
It was from 2017 that LaFont started to produce vacuum cleaners, they are not new to this field and the LaFont M210s completes their entry-level range between 100 and 200 euros with a quite complete cleaning robot. As I wrote above, the LaFont M210s is exclusively available on the new bed and first platform. This is a new platform that aims to market a selection of quality products and be the first to offer them. This is actually the case for the LaFont M210s, it is not yet available anywhere else and you can buy it at a preferential price. The M210s is an entry-level cleaner with a mop but its main purpose is vacuuming. It is the smallest robot cleaner I have tested, measuring 27 cm in diameter and 7.62 cm in height so it will fit in places where most other vacuum cleaners can't.